Why should firms seriously consider uh, RPA? There are lots of reasons to consider RPA. I think it's really important that firms take good stock of what is driving their decision. It could be cost savings, it could be value add, it could be improving the employee experience, it could be risk management. Uh, it's important to really think about what are your objectives for it because some of them don't necessarily tie with one another and you really need to understand what exactly it is you think you're going to gain from automating processes this way. What are your reservations about uh, RPA, if any? I don't think I have any reservations about RPA. It's more about the process of deciding which processes you think are suitable for automation. I think making sure that you really have a good understanding of your pain points and the aspects and activities in each of your processes allows you to really better understand which use cases are appropriate candidates for RPA. And what are the ripple effects upon staff if their firm does embrace robotics? I think considering the impact on people is important for every change that you're going to make. In my experience, including the subject matter experts, the real operators in your team, in the process automation is key. If people feel like they're engaged, they're included, they have some ownership about the direction that the automation is going to take, change management is far less of a problem than it might be otherwise if uh, it's an edict that is delivered from the top. And I, I just was uh, overseeing a panel and I asked uh, everyone in the group if they were worried that robotics might take their job and I get a huge laugh. So it, it's a big concern. Yeah, I think so. One thing that I think is really important for people to consider is when they're thinking about the people play element, certainly you might have a team of say 10 people and robotics might allow you to uh, redeploy or not need half of them. But the big compelling argument is that all of those people can redeploy to more value-add tasks and I think the challenge and something interesting for us to watch over the coming uh, months and years as people get comfortable and start to employ robotic process automation is whether or not those cost savings are realized because you might automate a process and achieve great scale and less errors which certainly reduces cost but as people are de deployed to more value-add activities more value add equals more expertise, which means more expensive people if they're providing more value. And so I think that I'm not convinced yet that that cost argument is really gonna be a real driver in the long term.